Welcome back. Today I want to talk to you about how to download and install Composer. You can see on the screen here I'm on the Composer website. And you'll want to browse there, open up uh, Internet Explorer or Firefox, whatever you use on the Internet. Go to Composer.net. Now let me show you how that URL or that web address is spelled. It's K-O-M-P-O-Z-E-R. So Composer, spelled with a K and a Z, dot net. When you go to that particular web page, you uh, will see a page like this. And we're going to download Composer right here by clicking on this button. Um, if you have a Mac, you'll probably you can find a link for downloading it for Mac. But this is for Windows, and it opens up a page like this. It says it's going to download. So we'll start in zero seconds. As soon as it's ready to download, I get a little window that looks like this. Now I would encourage you to go ahead and save the file, um, and we'll just go ahead and click OK. And it'll ask you now where you want to save it. So the best thing is to go to your desktop. Here's my desktop. And I'm just going to go ahead and say save right there. And it's thinking for a second. And it looks like it's fully downloaded. Now if I go here to my desktop, you'll see, we'll go ahead and minimize this window. And you'll see here, I'll drag it in here, you'll see a zip file has been created. Now, in a previous lesson, I told you all about zip files and how we always need to uh, extract the files from the zip file or uncompress or unzip the file. And so here's how we do it. Simply uh, double click here uh, in a window where we can see all the files and folders that are inside the zip file. And we all, all we have to do is click on Extract All Files. And um, as soon as we do that, again, it asks us, well, where do you want to extract them? You know, extracting them right here on the desktop is a great place to do it. It's really easy then to find your Composer application. So simply choose Extract. And um, it thinks for a second. It's a fairly large application, 19, 20 megabytes in size. It might take a second to download and open. And so it's opening now. And as soon as it gets done doing that, we will see if I close down all my other windows, this one and this one, if I go onto my desktop now, here I have that that file now uncompressed, no longer a zip file, but now it's just a folder. And if I go in there, double click on that, um, I will see that I can open up the Composer application simply now by clicking on this exe file. It's called composer.exe. Exe stands for executable. That means that's the file that when opened will execute or start or run the program. And so the exe file is the one I want to find. I double click on it and say run to that little warning window. and. Uh, take a moment the first time but it'll go ahead and open the program right here on my computer there we go and now I have composer open and I'll just show you what it looks like when you first open it and make it a little bit bigger and in the next few lessons I'm going to show you all about how to use composer as your web editor here in your web one web design class. Thanks for joining me. That's how you download and install Composer on your computer.